Hello po sa lahat. Welcome to my channel. Sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, i-click nyo lang po ang subscribe. I-click nyo yung bell button and then select all for more updates. Maraming salamat. Good day everyone. In this video, you will learn all about representing quantities in real life situations using algebraic expressions and equations. So I'm Teacher Saldi. Welcome. We have the lesson objectives, represents quantities in real life situations using algebraic expressions and equations, and solve routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical expression and equation. Let's have first the definitions. Algebra is a branch of mathematics which uses numbers and symbols, or also known as the letters, to express relationships between known and unknown quantities. So the use of symbols in algebra enables us to solve real life problems. So dito na ma makikita na gagamit kayo ng letter to express relationship between unknown quantities. So pag meron tayong inahanap na number, madalas letter muna yung ginagamit natin. Algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that uses variables, numerals, and operation symbols. So kapag meron na kayong nakitang uh, combination of numbers and letters and operation symbols, algebraic expression yung tawag natin doon. And then what we have what we call algebraic equation. So this is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign most of the time equal sign which shows that the two expression on both sides are equal. So, on higher mathematics, ginagamit din siya na greater than, less than, o kaya greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. But, in this case, in lower math, madalas ang ginagamit natin is equal sign. So, we have examples of algebraic expression. So, we have x, we have 2y plus 6, and x minus 2y plus 6. So, pag may nagita yung ganyan na mathematical sentence, ang tawag natin dyan, algebraic expression. On the other hand, if we have x is equal to 3y, we have 2y plus 6 is equal to z, and x minus 2y plus 6 equals 4z. So, kapag may nakita na kayo na ganyan, na dalawa yung algebraic expression, and then we have equal sign, okay, algebraic equation yung tawag dyan. So, we have some of algebraic expression showing the corresponding constants, variables, and operations involved. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung constant natin? On... On the old references, ang constant, tawag natin sa kanya is numerical coefficient. So, eto, madalas, eto yung number. Okay? Variables, eto naman yung mga letters or the literal coefficient dun sa mga old references. Yung literal coefficient, ang tawag natin dyan is variables or the symbols. And then, we have operation symbol. So, let's have an example, a plus 6. So, in the algebraic expression a plus 6, we have constant 6. Okay? So, yung plus 6 dyan, ang tawag natin dyan is constant. And then, a is the variable. So, the operations involved is addition. Next, we have 9y. So, meron tayong constant dyan, 9. And then, the variable is y. So, we have operations involved, which is multiplication. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, si, si constant and then si variable, magkadikit sila. Okay? So, sa algebraic expression, kapag magkadikit si constant and variable, multiplication yung operation natin doon. Okay? And then, we have 1 half x minus 4. Okay? So, ang constant natin dyan, dalawa. We have 1 half and then, minus 4, or the negative 4. Okay? So, meron tayong variable, which is x, and then, 
ang operations involved natin, multiplication, pwede ring division yan, and then we have subtraction. Okay? Sa multiplication, yung 1 half x kasi, equivalent din siya sa x over 2. So, division operation is involved din. Okay? And then next, we have a over b plus 6. So, ang constant natin dyan is 6, and then we have the variables a and b. So, we have operations involved, addition and division. And then lastly, we have x over 4. So, yung constant natin is 1 over 4. Kasi ang kadabing constant ni x is 1. Kaya siya 1 over 4. And then we have the variable, which is x. So, ang operations involved natin dyan, multiplication or division. So, si x over 4 kasi equivalent din siya sa 1 over 4 x. We have sum of verbal phrases translated to algebraic expressions. The first example, x more than y is equal to y plus x. Although pwede rin siya maging x plus y, pero ang tamang pagkakasulat kapag x more than y, y plus x. So kung mapapansin nyo, baliktad siya. Okay? We have y less than 8, so that's x minus y. Hindi siya y minus 8. Mali yun. Okay? So, 8 minus y. And then, the third example, 8 times the sum of a number and 9. So, let x be the number. We have the sum of x plus 9, open and close parenthesis, 8. Or 8, open and close parenthesis, x plus 9. Next, we have twice x or equivalent to 2x. And half of y is y over 2 or 1 over 2y. Let's have example number 1 on solving word problems involving real life situations. Sasha bought a dress on sale for 360 pesos, which is one half of the original price. So, what was the original price of the shirt? We have let x be the original price. So, ang gagamitin natin dito, dahil hinahanap natin yung original price, gagamitin natin si x. Most of the time, on solving word problems involving algebra, x yung ginagamit natin. Two unknown quantities. Okay, kung anumang unknown quantities yan, x yung ginagamit. So, we have the algebra, algebraic equation, 1 half of x equals 360. Or, 1 over 2x is equal to 360. So, solving, we will multiply both sides by 2. So, bakit imumultiply natin si 2? Kasi, ang katabing number or ang katabing constant ni x is 1 half. So, para maalis natin si 1 half, okay, imumultiply natin yung inverse niya para maging 1. Kasi kapag 1 na lang yung constant natin, x na lang yung matitira. Okay? So, kukunin natin kung ano man yung inverse ng constant na meron si x. So, dahil 1 half yan, pag kinuha mo yung inverse niya or kapag binaligtad mo yan, Imamultiply mo lang siya ng 2. In the same way, dun sa kabilang side, magmumultiply ka din ng 2. Kasi kung ano mo gina, ginawa mo sa left side, ganun din yun gagawin natin sa right side. So kapag minultiply natin yan, so parang ganito yung labas niya. Dun sa ibang references, ganito din yung, uh, ganito yung ipapakita niyang solution. So anyway, the same lang. So, 1 over 2x equals 360 and then maglalagay siya ng bracket from the left side and the right side. Tapos maglalagay siya ng 2. Ibig sabihin, magmumultiply ka ng 2. So, any solution, pwede yan. Tama yan. So, pwedeng gamitin mo yung dot or pwedeng gumamit ka ng bracket. Wag na wag ka lang gagamit ng x as a symbol for multiplication. Okay, so, hindi na natin ginagamit 
si x dito sa algebra as multiplication operation. Okay? So, ang ginagamit natin is that na lang siya or the bracket. So, solving, x is equal to 720 pesos. Okay? And, the original price of the shirt is 720 pesos. Okay? So, kung mapapansin mo, kalahati daw nun, 360. So, the number, which is half, is 360, is equal to 720. Kaya ang sagot natin, the original price of the shirt is 720 pesos. Let's have example number 2. A number increased by 8 is 20. Okay? So, meron tayong hinahanap dito yung isa, yung number. So, the solution, let x be the number. So, x pa rin yung gagamitin natin. To unknown quantity, which is the number. So, the algebraic equation, x plus 8 is equal to 20. Kasi, the term increase, ang operation niyan is addition. Okay? So, x plus 8 is equal to 20. Now, para ma-remove ma natin si 8 at matira na lang si x sa left side, ang gagawin natin, we will subtract 8 to both sides or from both sides. So, dun sa x plus 8, magma-minus ka ng 8 para matanggal na si 8. Okay, matira na lang si x. So, dun sa kabilang side naman, magma-minus ka din ng 8. Kasi kung ano nga yung ginawa mo sa left side, yun din yung gagawin natin sa right side. So, ang mangyayari, matitira x equals 20 minus 8, which is equal to 12. Okay? So, the number is 12. Next, example number 3. The sum of two numbers is 24. If the first number is 9, what is the second number? We have the solution. Let x be the second number. So, 9x plus equals 24. So, kapag sinabi nating sum kasi, ang operation involved dyan is addition. So, 9 plus x equals 24. So, again, subtract 9 to both sides or from both sides para matira, matira na lang si x. Okay? So, minus 9, 9 minus 9 plus x equals 24 minus 9. So, ang matita, x equals 24 9 minus 9 which is equal to 15. So, the second number is 15. Example number 4, twice a number decreased by 12 is equal to 30. So, we have the solution, let x be the number. So, 2x minus 12 equals 30. So, yung twice and number, yun yung 2x natin. Decrease, denoting subtraction operation, kaya siya minus, by 12, kaya siya merong 12, equals 30. Okay? So, ang algebraic equation natin is 2x minus 12 equals 30. So, first, tanggalin muna natin yung 12 or yung minus 12. Okay? So, mag a tayo ng 12 to both sides. So, plus 12 yung isa, plus 12 yung right side. Okay? Kasi naka-minus tayo. So, lagi kung uulitin, kukunin mo para matanggal, kunin mo yung inverse niya. So, ano nga ba yung in inverse ng minus 12? Plus 12. Okay? So, kapag nag-plus 12 ka sa left side, magpa-plus 12 ka rin sa right side. Okay? So, ang matitira na lang, 2x equals 42. Bakit siya naging 42? Kasi, 30 plus 12. Now, dito sa algebraic equation na to, dalawa yung possible na pwedeng gawin. Okay? So, eto yung una. So, ang una, magmumultiply tayo ng 1 half. Okay? Kasi, ang inverse ng 2, tulad nung sabi ko kanina, kukunin mo yung inverse nung katabi ng x or yung constant ng x. So, ang 2, kapag binaligtad mo siya, magiging 1 over 2 naman siya. Okay? So, kapag nagmultiply ka ng 1 over 2 sa left side, kailangan sa right side, magmultiply ka rin ng 1 over 2. 
So, 1 over 2 times 2 is 1. So, kapag 1 na yung constant natin, hindi na natin siya nilalagay. So, ang matitira na lang dun is x. And then, 42 times 1 half or 1 half of 42, pag minultiply mo si 42 ng 1 half, magiging siyang 21 na lang. Okay? So, the next solution is to divide both sides by 2. So, dahil 2x yan, okay, di-divide natin siya by 2 kasi nakamultiply siya. And then, si 42 naman, i-divide natin din siya by 2. So, si 2, pag dinivide mo kay 2, again, 1 yung matitira, kaya x na lang siya. Equals, ano ba yung 42 divide 2? 21. Okay? So, the number is, or x is equal to 21. So, the number is 21. Okay, so that's it. I'm Teacher Saldi. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like every video and add your comments or suggestions. Thank you.